Hey Virgo, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for your likes, subscribes, and shares. If there's anything else you'd like to know about me, it's in the description. This reading will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Keep in mind, you do not have to be a Virgo to, re to, ugh, to resonate with this reading. Please take what resonates with the rest. I'm available for personals. That information is in the description. Spirit, angels, ancestors, and guides, thank you so much for all that you do for me. Thank you for loving, guiding, and protecting me. Please allow me to connect to the collective sign of Virgo and give guidance and advice to those who need it. Also, please surround me with a protective white light of the high frequency and only allow positive energy into my space. Amen. 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 A Virgo royalty gang gang. <laughs> I hope you are doing well. I hope you are taking care of yourselves. Because I am... I'm like, let me do one mile. I miss you guys. So much going on 111. On the recorder. So much going on in the spirit realm. So much going on spiritually. Like, some people can only... How can I put it? Some people don't know that things happen in the spirit realm first before they appear in the physical. Um, so there's there's a lot of that going on. So at one point, there was like quite a few light workers and readers that I used to watch. And I noticed too, like, Dang, this is this one girl, she was popular. Her name, I don't remember her name, but she was a light worker and she was a reader, but she was popular. She started receiving a text. She was like, no, I'm not coming back on do YouTube because of a text or whatever. Then there was this black girl from Louisiana. I used to watch her a lot. I don't really re remember her name, but she said the same thing. Like, when you get to a certain point, <laughs> I don't know. I've watched so many readers get under attack. It's because if you're trying to spread light or positivity, there are forces that play that don't like that. They don't they don't want you to do that. Do what? Encourage who? All right, let's get some messages from your person. I feel the sexual energy between us, yet it's beyond physical attraction. It needs to be elevated to the expression of deep, unconditional love. So, let's see. I'm using this deck right here, if you guys want to know what it is. Um, so this is, it's more than sexual. You're not even in their presence and they can feel you. They're like, what is that? I don't I don't know what that is. Whether male or female, this person they ain't never experienced nothing like that. So. I see you working to create change and I'm proud of what you are accomplishing. I want to work on who wrote this? I want to work on mission with you. Okay, fair enough. Aww. So there is a twin here, Virgo. Like, they want to be a part of your change. They're like, okay, now I see it. I want to be a part of your change. Um, you, You've awakened the part of this person that surpasses sexuality. It's, it's above that. Surpass. <laughs> My ego is fragile to criticism and rejection. I've created walls to protect myself. Oh, the 444 is about to come up, but. Oh. I'm getting a divine masculine. It doesn't have to be. It's just energy. We know masculine, feminine, is, it's just energy. Okay? It's just energy. 
Don't listen to other people. <laughs> Trust yourself to know the truth. Like, this keeps coming out. And look at all these cards, bruh. I shuffled, like, four. I shuffled. I'm always shuffling. Y'all see this, right? All right. I'm always shuffling. Aww. Somebody, your twin is watching you, and they are very proud of you, okay? I miss you. Let's both stop running away. Oh, They don't want to run from this anymore. Well, it's not like they can find you and somebody else. I'm just saying. When it's a twin and it's next level, like, it's nearly impossible for either one of you. You're, it's twin, 555. It's your twin. The next solstice or equinox will bring an important shift for us. Draw another card to get an idea into what this shift may be. Let's see. Let's do it. I normally draw six, but it's saying draw seven. Our love will manifest through the union of heart and mind. Expanding these areas allows our love to grow. Union. Y'all are... This... this Equinox or next solstice. Oh crap! Twins are coming into union. I don't mean to be so dang on excited, so dramatic. I'm accessing past life wisdom. It's helping me understand things with a new perspective. If you are on the twin flame journey or you are on your own personal spiritual walk, um, people are taking notice of it. And so you're being a catalyst for other people's awakening and their shift right now. Also, your energy is helping twin flames come into union. Like this is all a collective effort. You understand? Um, there are things that need to, we have to shift the paradigm. And so that's what twin, twin flames are doing. Okay, we got your messages. Let's get into your spread and then I'm gonna clarify with the tarot. Possibilities. Oh, somebody's had breaking down too. Like they they ready. Emotional storm, turmoil, unstable, and affected. This person's not that stable without you. Past life. Okay. Deja vu, repeated patterns, karmic lessons, releasing, letting go, moving on, walking away. So you may have walked away from this person or this person may have walked away from you. You did share a past life with this person. Um, twin flame relationships are very complicated because you got the runner, chaser, runner, chaser type thing. Um, so they're releasing a lot from their energy field. And the more your twin releases more of old belief systems, trauma, uh, programming, the more they release this, they're going through a lot. If I was you, I, I would find a way to telepathically comfort your twin. Stress, turbulence, tension, and arguments. Yeah, so your twin is telling you not to listen to other people because it's bringing arguments. Y'all are marrying each other. Just, I see a mirror. Finality. Farewells leave behind and closure. But it's clarifying I miss you. 
maybe you both tried to give closure to this situation. Like, okay, I'm going to let you go live and I'm going to go live. Right. But this person, they're like, nah, they can't let you go. They may act all tough and created these walls and put on these emotional masks. Like we all do it, right? Perspective, better off happiness, clear headspace. This person feels like they would be better off with you than without you. Foundation, established family insecurity. I can't make this up. They, they really feel like, excuse me. My legs are sticking to the chair. They really feel like they would be better off and happier with you. Is that, no, spirit. 11, 11. <laughs> On the recorder, like. It's like y'all keep running from each other. They tried to let you go too. They did. They did. They tried to let you go. Make sure I shuffle the tarot really well. When some of the same twin flame messages come out, like your twin is really stepping up and saying like, hey, take care of yourself, listen to yourself, be good to yourself. Seven of Pentacles reverse. They are really affected by this, right? They feel stagnated. They feel stag stagnant. That's the word I'm looking for. Stagnant, 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 whatever. <laughs> Six of Pentacles reverse. Six and seven of Pentacles reverse. The magician on the bottom, Virgo Gemini energy. They could have went through something that was one-sided or, again, you both are mirroring each other. Um, they've been holding back, but they're experiencing an emotional storm, right? Finances may have something to do with it here, okay? Okay. Five of Pentacles, upright. Somebody feels left out in the cold. They're watching you, but they get it now. Some of you, you were like, look, I had to walk away so I can heal and take care of me. And so I can decide on, you know, where I'm headed and what I want to do. And now your twin um, or this person, they see they see your path, they see your journey. And so now they're like, okay, I get it now. Before they didn't get it. And they're watching you and they're like, okay, you're growing. We have the Six of Swords moving the common waters. You feel like home to this person. Take a sideways card, y'all. Okay. Why well, the strength card reverse Leo energy? Okay. 
Okay, so this was a past life connection. Your twin said, okay, y'all shared a past life and in that past life, you were taken away from them. And they're basically saying in this life, I don't want that to happen. Because y'all gonna have to do it in another lifetime. The Queen of Wands reverse, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. Big ego, arrogant sometimes too. Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Five of Wands. Either you or them, somebody here was like in a very argumentative, toxic connection. You could have been dealing with a Scorpio. Towards upright. So this person feels trapped by their thoughts. I saw that 1616. 16. I saw it. I wasn't looking for it. I swear. Um, Eight of Swords. Trapped by their own thoughts. That ego boy, that ego will tell you something totally different. The Empress. Okay, so this person, whether divine masculine or divine feminine Taurus energy, this person feels like, this person may see your light, right? And they don't really, they want you to just be persistent in your growth. I'm hearing be persistent in your growth. But this Equinox... Is going to bring union. That's what that just told me right there. Save this video and come back. <laughs> Nine of Cups, Death Card. Hold up, let me see. Nine of Cups. Yeah, yeah, this person's wish fulfillment. Somebody had, somebody had an ego death. The Death Card, Scorpio Energy. But what I'm getting is... Somebody had an ego death and a spiritual awakening. They don't have no choice. They don't have no choice but to wake up. Three of Cups. Nine of Cups. Reunion. Three of Cups is reunions, weddings, baby showers, events. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. Oh, Virgie, Virgie, Virgie. This is interesting. Very, very interesting. Six of Swords, Two of Cups. I want to see what that is. Give me all that. I'm going to take that. The World Card and the Two of Cups. So... Something ending, a new beginning, two of cups is the soulmate card. Six of cups is the past life. Soulmate card, two of cups. I thought the four of wands was the twin flame. We have so many, I don't know. But we had a two of cups, we had a union. We have union and the two of cups. Okay, 1919 on the recorder. And this reunion is coming during this next solstice or equinox. I just can't stop looking at it. <laughs> so something's going to end. Um, moving to calmer waters because of the ending. And then there's going to be a shift. There's going to be a shift. Eight of Pentacles reverse solution. The Page of Cups, expect a confession of love, Queen of Swords. Um, this person may come off like 
abrasive, okay, I want to say. They just frustrated, that's all. Nine of Pentacles. They want you to be independent. For some of you, if you're only if this applies, if you are in the public eye or somewhere on social media, they are watching you. Okay. And they are very proud of you. Somebody had ego death. Twin Flame Union. For real though, as I split. Oh my goodness. Let me make sure I shuffle really, really well. Okay, tease. The energy is fun and lighthearted, but uncertain. Yeah. Very uncertain about this. This person has sexual fantasies about you. Uh, or I'm hearing y'all be having astro lucky. Burning desire. Flames of passion ignite. Clarifying past life. Astro lucky? Astro sex? 5D6? I guess so. Okay. Let go of the past. Clear energy to allow more love in your life. And that's what they're trying to do. They're releasing the past. They're releasing things that no longer serve them. Again, Virgo. Because I just came from therapy. If you don't want this situation, you don't have to take it. I understand. For somebody that's on their healing journey and that's very um, serious about it at this point. I'm not into telling somebody to go back to something that was unhealthy for them, 22-22 on a recorder. Again, I am just a messenger. A tender touch means so much. You, you love language, physical touch. So you both are yearning for each other. You both are yearning for each other. Magnetism. There's a gravitational pull to each other. Ooh, that's dangerous. Ooh, that's dangerous. Not the gravitational pull, bruh. That's dangerous. Okay. Yep, they miss you. They coming in. They like, I'm finally walking, like, they finally walking away from whatever this is. And they coming. Now, you don't have to accept it. Friendly support. Fairies, guides, and friends give you aid. Yes, they do, honey, because I manifested some money. I was like, let me listen to this tape. <laughs> Healing connection. Your romance will transform your life. Yeah, it's definitely. If you know you're on, if this applies, if it don't apply, let it fucking fly. But if you know you're on the twin flame journey and that you feel a connection with somebody, um, yeah, this is going to be life changing, especially if you're like a single mother or father, or you want to work at home, like there's going to come a balance to whatever your situation is, right? Um, when twin flames come into union, they come into union for the greater good. So it's interesting. Looking over and I see that kinky in the bedroom card. Y'all better go ahead. Y'all need to sit y'all hot pants butts down. Hot pants. And then when twins come together, it's, it's going to increase the light and the frequency on the planet. That's why it's a big deal. It's, it's a big deal.
They are burning with desire. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Let me just finish up. The lovers, union. Gemini energy. What? I got this bump in my ear, man. It's so uncomfortable. I don't have to stop touching it. It's just so uncomfortable. <sighs> Whatever. The lovers. Y'all be loving on each other, huh? Okay. Lack of ideas, Ace of Swords, the lovers and the Ace of Swords. So they know they have to make a choice. There's a choice being made here. Um, you can feel this person intuitively, but they're not saying anything. That's the thing about a twin flame connection. They don't have to say anything. You already know anyway. You already know. Not by the rules. Five of Swords. Upright. Okay. They like, I'm not playing by the rules when they come to you. And then on the bottom, we have the Ten of Cups reverse, disconnected family. So there may be some family issues involved with this. Gemini energy. Union is out here so many times it's not even funny. And I'm not trying to gas nobody head up. A test of faith. And it's going to be a test of faith. They're not playing by the rules. Somebody here ain't playing by the rules, be it you or them. Somebody here is not playing by the rules and they're stepping out on faith. Following your heart, the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. They're letting go of the past and they're going to follow their heart. 2727, 27, I wasn't looking for it. I swear I wasn't looking for it. It just was right there. Sometimes, I ain't gonna lie, I be looking for it sometimes, but then sometimes I don't be looking for it. Because you know when you go looking for it, don't count, right? <laughs> okay, mentally strong. Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. The Knight of Cups and the Queen of Swords, clarifying, let go of the past, releasing... This person, they've created walls for themselves, so they're trying to, like, let their guard down a little bit. Because a person's heart, I don't know what's wrong, people. A person's heart is not something to play with. It's not cute or cool to go around ripping people's hearts to shreds and destroying them energetically. We get it. No relationship, friendship, or, you know, it's perfect, but we have swept off your feet. Knight of Wands, Aries Leo, Sagittarius energy. Somebody wants to sweep you off your feet. Take a hot apply. Plays mind games. Page of Swords, Reverse, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy, Obstacles and Blocks. This person could have been dealing with somebody that plays mind games or your twin may, you may be in a karmic situation and your twin is like telepathically communicating to you like, hey, don't let people play mind games with you. Don't let people um, mess with your intuition or your that authentic part of yourself, right? And so there is an inner conversation happening here between you and your twin. Harmony restored. I'm new to this, boo, I'm true to this. Um, so there will be harmony and balance restored. This person, they like, I miss you, and there's a gravitational pull, and they can't ignore it. They can't ignore it. So, a passionate start. 
Crown You Restored. Five of Wands, Ace of Wands. Talk about spicy and magnetism. Gravi gravitational pull, I miss you. Let's both stop running away. Y'all both was running away. Let me finish up. That landed sideways. Okay. Straighten the record. 30-30. Virgo, somebody's coming in to straighten the record. Oh my goodness. they like, let me set the record straight on who... Oh, okay. Five of Cups. Unwelcome change. So there's going to be some... It's out of your control. Like, I'm hearing this is going to happen in a very drastic way. Speedily, I'm hearing too. But drastically. Self-serving disinterest, four of cups. Seizing the day. Can you let the celebrating me again? This, this is going to be beyond your control. I don't know if somebody here recently, like, escaped the karmic, whether them or you, but um, it was a test. It's all a test. And so... Let me get you one of these. Okay, we have patience. Slow down, change your attitude, and clear your mind. Okay. So, again... I'm getting a mirroring energy where it's like you both need to have patience. You both are slowing down. You're both learning to listen to your intuition. You're going within. You're connecting to your higher self, um, the creator, the universe. Many of you are definitely meditating, doing your affirmations and things like that. It's important to um, stay on a mental diet with your subconscious mind, okay? Because what you think about, you bring about. If you want this, you can have it. If you don't want it, then you don't have to have it, you know? 3232. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> so when you tap into your, you know, when you tap into your higher self, things become more magnetic. Things become, you know, easier for you to attract because we have a saying within this this spiritual community, you know, we don't chase, we attract. So many of you are attracting things towards you versus chasing after it. And that is sexy. Okay. There's nothing more sexy than attracting. Oh, my ear. Got me looking all crazy. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Okay. Well, Virgo, this is all I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.